Okay, welcome to the uh, meeting of the uh, Executive Cabinet Member Leaders Portfolio. Um, before we go on to the agenda, apologies to anybody who's watching this back. I, I am full of a cold, so if I periodically turn off my camera, it's because I'm uh, dealing with cold, cold symptoms. Um, we will go straight on to item one on the agenda, which is the monitoring of Executive Cabinet Member decisions, which, is in, which was enclosed. Chair uh, on this, I think just to go through that, the item on over 5,000 write off debts for April has been completed and the finance report for quarter one has been completed so they can be removed. Thank you very much. Okay, and thank you. Item two is the Treasury Management Outcome report for quarter one. Yes, thanks. Uh, thanks, Leader. I'll uh, Graham, thank you. I'm presenting this. Um, so this is the report that um, provides an update on Treasury management performance against the indicators agreed by um, Council in February 23. Um, the important thing to note is that all of the performance indicators are within the limits that were approved by Council in February 23. And obviously, I'm quite happy to take any questions. Any questions, members? <laughs> if not, thank you very much. We will move on to item three, which is the aggregate financial monitor quarter one. Yes, thank you, Leader. I'll uh, also be presenting this report. So this is the um, quarter one aggregate monitor that summarises the various financial um, reports that have gone to the ECM leaders and the, the ECM meetings in the last um, couple of weeks or so. Um, the summary of the position can be found on page three. I think um, the key point to note here is that there continue to be quite um, substantial pressures in the social care um, budget areas. And again, I'm happy to take any questions. Okay, Councillor Hayes, thank you. Not a question, you hear what's been said, but just a comment. It's very concerning that the pressures that are continuing to be on children's services in particular, but also adults. Uh, and I think we've got to be very mindful of that when we come to the budget this year. But uh, hopefully the government may give us something today. You never know. Uh, Tony, did you want to comment? I think I think Councillor Hayes has hit, hit the nail on the head, if I'm being really honest. Um, table two shows where I projected overspends are at the minute. Um, children's services is looking like it'll be eight and a half million pound over for this year alone. We're looking at a council that have been about £11 million over. Um, yes, we're funding those uh, from reserves, but clearly reserves are not are not forever. Um, so we do have considerable pressures in those areas. Inflationary pressures are still hitting us. Uh, that's re not really going down at the minute. Um, clearly, there is the autumn statement that will come out um, 22nd of November, which might give us some steer in some areas. But it is really just to reiterate that point that, um, yeah, it is um, it's, it's quite a, a bad position at the minute, but we are we are covering it. Thanks. I mean, what, what a lot of um, um, members of the public don't quite realise I do appreciate is the vast amounts of money that does go on children's services, um, adult social care as well. And I know there's, there's quite a lot of good work going on across GM uh, in terms of more collaborative working for out, out of borough placements. Yeah. Which has considerable cost and we're all hopeful that that will um, that that will bring some benefits in the future. But we are where we are. They are statutory functions, and we we obviously have the duty as corporate parents uh, to uh, ensure that this this budget is protected. Uh, okay, thanks thanks for your comment, there, Councillor Hayes. Uh, we now move on to get my agenda back up. We're we're out on the confidential item, and uh, for the benefit of uh, members of the public. Um, the reason that we um, stop uh, broadcasting when we've come to confidential items is because um, there could be there, there could be corporate um, uh, confidential or staffing issues that are not yet in the public domain, but will be in the public domain once um, due process has gone through. So we can end recording there, please, Vicky. Thank you.